What's good everyone? Today is the first day of repairing a birdhouse. So follow me. All right, so as you see, this birdhouse is your traditional shape. I made this one for my wonderful partner, Corey. Okay, so on the roof here, you see there's nothing there. So what was there was these small little shingles that I cut out and I painted them different colors. And you see on the front, there's some funkiness going on with this hole. So we had a family of birds move in and after they left, a couple of squirrels tried to break in and they did quite a bit of damage on this hole here. So I tried plastering it and kind of like reshaping it and it didn't quite work out. So I'm just gonna remove that all together and start from scratch. And here you can see that there's a little balcony that I made. This is a new one that I added on here. The old one looks similar to this and it also had like a little fence post around it made out of chopsticks. So we're gonna do that again as well. So in the next video, I'm gonna remove that broken piece, cut out a new one, and then we'll go from there. I'll see y'all then. What's good y'all? Today is the second day of repairing a birdhouse. So follow me. First things first, let's remove this balcony. Next, we're gonna get the centerpiece out of here. Okay, now we're gonna use this old piece to trace a new piece and then we're gonna cut it up. But first, let's put on my glasses, some gloves, and let's get to cut. All right, so in the third video, I'm gonna be cutting a hole out in that section that we just cut today. I'm gonna sand everything and get it prepared for some painting. All right, I'll see y'all then. What's good, y'all? Today is day three of repairing a birdhouse, so follow me. All right, so first I'm gonna draw two lines from corner to corner to find the center of this piece of wood. Then I'm gonna use a roll of tape to draw my circle. Now let's put up some glasses, some gloves, and let's get to work. All right, so since I don't have a hole cutting bit, I do this in a bit of a different way. So first I put a bit into my drill. I drill little holes around the circle. Press out the circle. And then I take a Dremel to kind of shave the sides down and make it nice and smooth for the birds to enter. Looks pretty good. So since that took a little bit longer than expected, on day four, I'm actually gonna sand all the pieces and put it back together. I'll see y'all then. What's good, y'all? Today is the fourth day of repairing a birdhouse, so follow me. All right, so first I'm gonna go in with an 80 grit piece of sandpaper just to get off all the old paint and all the rough pieces. Time to put everything back together again. Looks pretty good to me. So on day five, I'm gonna show you how I make my fence post out of chopsticks. I'll see y'all then. What's good, y'all? Today is day five of repairing a birdhouse. So follow me. All right, so first we're gonna reattach the balcony. Now it's time to cut the chopsticks so I can make my fence post. Then I'm gonna use a hot glue gun to assemble my miniature fence post. Hey, not too shabby. All right, so on day six, I'm gonna show you how I cut out my little tiny shingles and put them on the roof. I'll see y'all then. 
What's good y'all? Today is day six of repairing a birdhouse. I've been out of town for a bit, so it's been a while. I know, I know. Shout out to Hawaii. But hey, we're back at it. So follow me. All right, so first I'm gonna use these old shingles that I found one day, and I'm gonna use my ruler to map out exactly how I wanna cut my pieces. All right, so now I'm gonna use that piece I just cut out to measure the other pieces. Now we're gonna cut these down to even smaller pieces. Let's say about mm, half an inch. All right, now we're gonna cut the pieces out. Then I'm gonna use a hot glue gun to start assembling the pieces. Side note, it's getting a little bit cold, so I'm gonna throw in this jacket real quick. Now, let's get back to work. Let's give it a little trim. Hey, it looks pretty good. All right, so now that we got everything put together, in the next video, I'm gonna be finishing up and doing some painting. I'll see y'all then. What's good, y'all? Today is day seven of repairing a birdhouse. So follow me. All right, so today we're gonna be painting the bottom of the birdhouse, the side pieces, and the front and back piece. All right, for the bottom and side pieces, I'm gonna go with this really dark and kind of ashy looking brown paint right here called Raw Umber. And for the front and back pieces and the hinge, I'm gonna go with a slightly lighter brown that has more of a warm undertone called Burnt Umber. Let's put on some gloves, an apron, and let's get to painting. Actually, let me unscrew some pieces and make this a little bit easier for me to paint. Hey, looks pretty good. When it dries, I'm probably gonna put on a second layer, but for now, I'm okay with it. All right, so in the next video, I'm gonna give that little balcony I made with chopsticks a nice coat of paint. I'll see y'all then. What's good, y'all? Today is day eight of repairing a birdhouse. So, follow me. All right, so today we're gonna be painting the porch. The platform here is gonna be one color. The fence made out of chopsticks will be another color. And then right here down in the center, I'm gonna make little pavers for the birds made out of cardboard. All right, so for the platform, we're gonna do this dark brown again with an ashy undertone called raw umber. For the fence, I'm gonna do this nice neutral sap green. And for the pavers, I was gonna do a more vibrant light green. But first, let's put on an apron, some gloves, and let's get to painting. All right, so now I'm gonna cut out this cardboard into my little pavers. Give them a nice coat of paint, and then carefully glue them to the platform. After it dries, I'll give this all a nice little touch up, but so far, so good. All right, so in the next video, we're gonna be giving the roof a complete makeover. It should be pretty cool. I'll see y'all then. What's good, y'all? Today is day nine and the final day of repairing a birdhouse. So, follow me. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint these shingles here. I'm gonna use this raw umber, burnt umber, sap green, and light green. It's time for some gloves, an apron, and let's get to painting. Okay, so now that we're all done with the painting, I'm gonna give it a nice spray with the semi-gloss clear enamel. Hey, that looks pretty good to me. All right, so thank you all for following me on this journey. This particular birdhouse is not for sale. However, the next one I make will definitely be for sale. So if you have any cool ideas or suggestions for what to make next, put it down in the comments. I'll see y'all then. 